For this example, I want to take an indefinite integral of an even power of tangent. So if you try our earlier techniques, trying to set aside a secant squared or a tangent, they're not going to work. So let's take a look at what we can do here. If I want to do a u substitution, u equal to tangent of x, we would need to compensate by including a secant squared, because secant squared is the derivative of tangent. So let's see if we can somehow inject a secant squared into the problem. If I borrow a tan squared from this, I can rewrite that as secant squared x minus 1. This is because, remember, we have cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. I'm going to push the cosine squared to the other side, divide everything by cosine squared. That's going to give me this identity here. So I could pull that tan squared out as secant squared minus 1. This is going to be good on one part, not so good on the other. So tan to the 4 secant squared, this is great. We can use substitute tangent out, and this will work just fine. But on my other piece, I have a tangent to the fourth power, which I still don't know how to do. The idea is I'm going to borrow another tan squared out of this, and you'll notice every step that I go, I'm going to have a power up in tangent that's getting dropped by 2 until we eventually get down to 0. So that's how this trick's going to work. So here, we're going to let u be equal to tangent of x. The du will be the secant squared dx. That leaves me with the u to the fourth. I take the antiderivative, I get 1 fifth u to the fifth, and that gives me 1 fifth tan fifth x. What's left over? I just carry along. Now I'm going to deal with this in the next step. So I'm going to have 1 fifth tan fifth of the x. I'm going to borrow a tan squared, rewrite as secant squared x minus 1. Then we're going to expand this. I can do the first one, and then for the second one, I'm going to hold it off till the next step. Let's see what happens. 1 fifth tan fifth of x, we just carry along. Here, u is equal to tangent x, so it's going to be a u squared. And then du is just secant squared dx, so I'm looking at u squared du. We add 1, flip it over, I get 1 third tan cubed. We're going to pick up a minus sign, though. Minus sign is going to carry through. I'm going to have plus indefinite integral of tan squared x dx. Okay, we only have a tan squared to borrow, so I just rewrite it as secant x squared minus 1. And now that, we know how to do both of these. That goes to tangent, that goes to minus x, and then here's my answer. We check our work. So I take the derivative of what's in the box. So the idea here is you're just going to drop your exponent down, subtract 1 off of it, multiply by secant squared x. So here it goes to a 4, secant squared x. Here it goes to a 2, secant squared x, and then here, secant squared, here, minus 1. Now how do I start collapsing this? Secant squared x minus 1 is tan squared. So what I can do then is, is factor a tan squared out of each term, which leaves me with tan squared secant squared minus secant plus 1. Well, secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared, so this back term is just minus tan squared. I could factor another tan squared out, gives me tan to the fourth. I'm left over with a secant squared minus a 1. That's going to be tan squared, so this is going to drop down to tan to the sixth, and our check works.